going to take you through an E6 volt on an ECADAN system. So the most likely reason for this is we've lost communication between the outdoor unit and the indoor unit. And the most likely reason for this is due to a power cut. So you can see on the controller here, there's my E6 volt. It's telling me it's with the actual FTC. So that's the actual internal part of the system. So it's on the side of your cylinder normally. And it's also giving you a telephone number. So that's the telephone number of your installer normally. In this particular example here, we've actually put the homeowner's helpline number on there just to be helpful for you. But the first point of contact would normally be your installer. First thing I'm going to recommend to do is to reset that communications. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to power off the indoor, power off the outdoor unit, and then we're going to give it a good two or three minutes. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, relax for two or three minutes. Reason for this, we need to let that power inside the actual capacitors and battery within the actual board itself and the outdoor unit do a bit of dissipation yeah once that two or three minutes is over that'll be just enough time for it you'll tell because the leds will all go off power it all back up so it's gonna be the ftc first and then we're going to power the outdoor unit back up once that's done its handshake you'll come back to a normal screen and then just press the on button and your system will start up again. If that is still not giving you the situation you want, where it's coming up with an E6 fault still, you will need to phone either that homeowner's helpline or back in touch with your installer. I hope this has been a help to you.